Okay, let's look at that. I use all the red color to to express my feelings. <laughs> See? How uh I wrote down here. Hmm? Anxiety. How do I know it's anxiety? There are two ways of finding if he if she's a anxious about something or having anxiety or stress is here. Oi, Sam. <laughs> See the actually it's supposed to be blue. This blue line here means anxiety. And the blue line here means bad, cold digestion problem. And the dark brown color or green color around this area, that means cholesterol. Okay. And the shape. Okay. The shape of the fingertips means the neck and head. So if you see somebody with a very thin tip, that means her or his brain power is very limited. If the fingertips are swollen up, that means water accumulation. Sometimes means water in the head or swollen head from thinking too much, blood pressure or whatever, the heat too much. The, 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 that's the nature uh, hereditary condition. So by looking at the finger shape of the fingertips, then you can know the condition of his heart or her heart. Uh, I'm sorry, head. Then you can verify it by the uh, ear point. Okay, this is the. So I always look at their finger, uh, their hands first before I take the pulse. Okay, and then look at the ear. This redness is the urinary tract. Urinary tract is directly pointing to the, the edge of this, this, this lower part of this triangle. And this is the kidney area. The red means kidney something. And the, I use the brown color and red color on this area, there's a hip like this. The color is like this, back pain or something. Back pain, the redness and brown color means inflammation and blood stagnation, maybe the old injury before. Okay, later. And this is the thyroid, huh? And this is the neck and shoulder, neck and shoulder, oh, here, here, here. And this is the colon, and this is the hip, like this. And this is the large intestine and urinary tract. This is the uh, uh, anus. This is the stomach and something on her ovary, a black spot. But her major complaint is the mood, energy, and neck and shoulder. Actually, there's not too much so like this. It's something like that. I didn't mark it, but anyway, it's fine. The chun, uh, chun. And also autoimmune deficiency, very weak. So the pause is jumpy. So I give her something for the inflammation, like a uh, flex spur, because I still think it's a little tight, but something swollen in there. So I use clear heat one. And zizi, zizi is for joint pain, for swelling tissues, and for all kind of uh, inflammation. And also for mood too, for, for aggressive mood condition. This clear heat one is very interesting. It's the liver detox astringent, and the Xinjiang Hongming Wu Huangshan. Actually, I don't add the Xinjiang Hongming to my clear heat one, but you can use it anyway. It's very good. The doctor wants to operate on her shoulder. I say it's not necessary. Actually, he has, she has also has a lot of pain here in the back from the old injury. Okay, Sam, sorry, one more time. How to
Hmm. How to detect an old injury of the back? Is here. If you see blue line or green line here at the thumb, straight line, the horizontal line is for digestion. This is for the back. And whenever you see blue line here, that means she or he might have an old injury on the back. Not necessarily direct injury. Sometimes uh, when they do the operation, they have to put something on. On, into the lumbar for, for, for anesthetic purposes. And also from uh, operation, something on the back is long time ago, they will see this blue line here. Then you can directly tell the patient you had old injury in the back. They will be very impressed. So, oh, so many questions. Oh, wait, son, that's my stomach power. My stomach power, I always premix it and put it in my office for, for use every day. I put them one scoop in every bottle of medicine to prevent the, the hurting of the stomach. Yeah, help, help to digest the herbs. Just one scoop. Sometimes no Huanglian, but I always use Huanglian. And the I bell chow, gan chow, only it. Hmm. It's all, also good for acid reflux. Mm -hmm. Okay, any questions? Actually, zi zi. Mm. This is zi zi. It's a red fruit. It's cold and actually it's very cold it's for clearing hard fire too, like this. Like I mentioned earlier. If you don't, the, if the patient is not constipated, so don't use liang ge san. You just use zi zi to clear the hard fire and the upper part of the fire. And it, even for injury, acute injury, a twisted ankle, a twisted arm, something, you can use zi zi to clear the swelling tissues. And zizi is red, so it goes into the heart. Not this heart, but the mood. If the, if the patient is very aggressive and very unstable, very anxious all the time, he cannot sleep, something, you just use your zizi, like 30% uh, or 40% to calm him down. It works very well. Mm. But you have to feel that the pulse, it gotta be, the pulse got to be very forceful to use it because the zizi is too cold for everything and it's good for cooling uh, for sw uh, shrinking the swollen prostate or shrinking the swollen uterus or uh ovaries anything anything swollen can be used can the zizi can be used for that purposes Okay, next one. 